Before we get into the video, I just left the house, pulled up to my grandma's house to come pick up my package. For what reason, I don't know. My whole family got that package sent to my grandma's house. I just thought about that. But uh, I'm gonna go grab the package, let y'all see what it is. I got two packages, matter of fact. I don't think this number my D's is coming, so let James. I really want to study these shoes, these foes, but I got a line on the sneakers out and I won, so I was like, fuck it, here what it is. I'm done buying shoes. I've been saying this for so long and I keep buying them, but I'm for real. I'm done buying shoes for right now. I've been going too hard. Bro, it be getting dark so quick. It's only 2 o'clock, 2.30. Already getting dark. 5.0. Faster than the sky, by the way. tape on my Iranian partner. Family owned all the corner stores. Uh, we had a food truck. My boy actually gonna go to Egypt tomorrow and get married to his wife that his mother picked out. But uh, that being said, let's get into the video for real. My client is getting an undercut, so we painting up the hair. Then we're gonna be combing out the sides of the hair uh, in the direction it grows. Now we're gonna be taking the sides of the hair down with a 1.5 guard close. Make sure you comb as you go. Make sure you be repetitive as possible if you want it to be even as possible for the best look. I ain't gonna lie, I'm so mad right now because I just recorded this voiceover and I, I did it perfect, like to perfection. And for some reason, my application just closed and now I gotta redo it, so I'm, I'm really mad right now. Now we're sitting in our first guideline for this mid taper, which is the ball guideline. We're gonna set it in a half moon light shape, giving it that burst effect. Then we're gonna ball out the excess hair from underneath the guideline. I got my lever open on my magic clips now, and I'm sitting in my second guideline. It's gonna be really the last guideline I'm gonna set for this side taper. Work my way down within this guideline. Uh, try to make a transition from light to dark or dark to light. I don't get confused. Basically, I'm saying uh, the higher you go into the fade, the higher you go. You want it to be dark. So I started off bald, so I'm gonna gradually work my way up until it's like a transition from light to dark. So. watching this video, ask yourself, like, subscribe to the main channel, <laughs> so think about it. Different races tend to have more stubborn hair follicles left this faint line right here so I'm gonna go back in with my trimmers and buff this line out then I'm gonna go back in with my clippers and buff that line out I got my lever open on my clippers again going with the grain on this guideline 
basically trying to lighten it up where it won't be so harsh. Then I'm going back against the grain, trying to take out this guy line, mainly using the corner of my clipper. Uh, trying to detail as I go. Uh, and take this guy line out to give it the best blend as possible. Using no guard when taking out guy lines and detailing is more of a advanced barber technique. But I say if you've been watching my previous videos and actually been practicing, you should be ready for it. Currently in the process of getting everything situated where I can draw more videos, be more consistent, and get better with my videos. So all I need you guys to do is keep supporting, I'm gonna keep dropping. We got this side table blended, so we can work our way to the back. I'm gonna sit in our first guideline, uh, ball that guideline out. Uh, then we're gonna uh, sit in our second guideline, uh, blend that guideline out. We're gonna use the one guard on this back taper. We're gonna fade into the one and a half guard, so we're not gonna necessarily sit in the guideline with the one guard. We're gonna fade into the one and a half guard from early. I got my lever open on my clippers, angling my clippers, taking out the last line, using the corners, hitting certain spots to make this blend come to reality. Uh, the thing about becoming a better barber is knowing what spots to hit. And if you make a mistake and hit the wrong spot, where it be too light in an area that you wasn't trying to make more light, uh, you just gotta learn how to adapt. You gotta adapt to them situations. So, don't get discouraged, hit another spot to make this spot not look as bad or don't look bad at all. For the sake of this video, I didn't show this side. We got this side blended, splendid. Now we're gonna work on this back side lineup. Spray our holding spray, brush it down, lock it in with the blow dryer. Grab out Mike Tyson boys. Do what I call my trimmer. Let me jump hitting. No cap hitting. Uh, you want to keep that backside lined up as far out as possible. You want to keep that curve closest to the ear. Uh, just keep it crisp and calm as you go. Same thing with the front line up. I went ahead and did the vertical bars on this side first. I usually do the curve first, but his edge up is kind of weird. So uh, I'm doing the vertical bar on this side. I already did the curve on this side. Uh, now I'm going to work on the curve on this side. And the reason I say his edge up kind of weird is because, like, 
on one side it grows lower than the other side then his forehead kind of stick out a little bit further on the one side i think that's an iranian thing just because his cousins and brothers heard that i could kind of same way but uh you want to start in the middle with the lineup and work your way to uh one side calm as you go make sure you get in the side solidified uh, make sure you step back as you go because you don't want to do the full line up and, and be walking when you step back and you get discouraged so make sure you step back as you go so you get it symmetrical as possible you know what i mean to say this ironic thing i'm basically saying he running his genes because of the similarities of his family members Never showed me doing a facial hair in none of my videos, so it's the first for everything. Make sure you ask your client whether you want his mustache to be thinner, or if you want to keep it wide. Regardless, you want to keep everything crispy. It literally goes for everything. You go from the front edge up, the back side line up, the mustache, the goatee. You want to keep everything crispy. You want to pay attention to detail, because it will sit you away from every other bob is where you get your coins at and you can possibly charge a hundred dollars or even better when you're paying attention to detail because there were counts can't everybody do that and it ain't even about the money it's all about elevation at the end of the day you want to get better with your crowd because it's a part of you Right here, I got my shavers, getting all the stubble. Man, please ask your client, can he use the shaver before you apply this to their face? Cause they can get a serious case of razor bumps and do not look good at all. So consult with your client and make sure his skin can take it. I got a little asthma clip or ASMR, whatever you want to call it, of me raising the front edge up. I like hearing it crunch, so I wanted to share that with y'all. YouTube, here's the final product. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this cut. I appreciate y'all so much. Please subscribe to my channel. We got these back tapes, stupid blended, as well as the side tape with the crisp edge up. <laughs> Gabe, appreciate y'all. Slack.